Hey guys, it's Lenny and welcome to the channel. So today's video, I'm going to show you how to merge some cars on PC. Now this glitch will only work on PC. Do not ask me if it works for console, because it doesn't. Okay, and I will not answer your comment. It will be written in the, the, com in the um, pinned comment, it will be written on the title, it will be written in the description. Okay, this only works on PC. Okay, you can merge F1 wheels, you can merge Benny wheels onto vehicles and save them. Okay, and it's only working on PC. Okay, so I just want to clear that before we get into the video because I will get a lot of questions on this and yes, it will only work on PC. Alright, so I have GTR on PC obviously um, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Now this glitch is pretty cool. Alright, it will be patched obviously when the solo dupe gets patched because it works the same. Okay, it's a very similar glitch to that. So if you have PC and, and console and you do have been doing a solo dupe on console, it works very, very much the same as that. Okay, so I made four vehicles. I closed the GTA application on my PC, I opened it back up again. These vehicles saved. Okay, so this glitch does save these vehicles with wheels and it is a quite a cool little glitch that we can make some F1 vehicles or some Benny vehicles, some Benny wheels on some normal cars. Okay, so definitely take advantage of this if you have a PC account or you play on PC. Okay, um, I try and cater to everyone on this channel on console and on PC, but um, yeah, normally there's not a lot of glitches for PC, so this one is for you guys. So the requirements are we need to have the workshop, okay, so the auto shop, we need to have that. Um, we need to have the F1 vehicle or the Benny's vehicle that we want to pull the wheels off stored inside of the auto shop and we need to have the vehicles that we want to put the wheels onto, okay. So right now I'll switch the gameplay across and this is where we start. Alright, so as you can see there's my F1 and I have the RX-7 just there. Okay, so RX-7 is the real name for that vehicle in the real world, so it's FD RX-7. Quite a cool little car. And in this video, I'm going to put some F1 wheels on it. So to start off with, hop in the vehicle and drive it outside. So it doesn't matter what session you're in right now, I'm in an invite only. So um, it doesn't matter where you start off. And you want to just leave this vehicle outside now. Okay. Another little good little tip at this point, once you leave this vehicle outside, you go inside of the workshop. Make sure that your spawn location is set to the auto shop. Okay, let's make this glitch work a lot better and a lot quicker. So we are walking back inside of the auto shop now and what we're going to do once we get inside, we're going to make our way over to the F1 vehicle and we're going to pull it inside of the actual workshop so we get the mod menu open. Okay. So hop into the F1 or the Benny's vehicle that you want to pull in the wheels off, press Q and you'll enter the um, actual workshop itself. Okay, so you can change something about this vehicle. From here, you just want to change anything that doesn't matter. So I just select the armor and I change the armor. And as soon as you do that, you want to press the P button, P for poodle. Um, and just, it's just the pause button basically on, on PC and just go online and go across to find your session. Okay, so I thought you guys might like the poodle part. And, um, yeah, so you basically need to press the P button because if you press escape to go to pause, it'll back out of that, that mod menu. We want to keep that open. So as you can see, I've loaded into this um, session here. I'm in a public session now and the vehicle that I just um, had outside is still sort of out there, but it's actually going to show you as an F1 vehicle at this point. So if all done correctly, you, once you go down the bottom here and return the vehicle to storage, you'll see it is actually an F1 vehicle. If you're using an F1, it will be a copy of the Benny's vehicle that you're using. So go to vehicles, go return to vehicle to personal, return personal vehicle storage. Okay, and as you can see there, it's an F1 copy. Okay, it's actually not, it's still an RX-7. So make your way outside. Okay, once you're outside, turn around and walk back inside of the auto shop again. Okay, so that's basically what we have to do to be able to enter the mod shop inside of the auto shop now. Um, we have to go outside and come back in again. Once you're back in, um, you want to make sure you hop in the vehicle that is the merged vehicle. Okay, so for me it's the vehicle in spot 2. 
Okay, so spot one was my F1, spot two was the RX-7. Okay, it's gonna look like a F1 vehicle, but it's actually a, the vehicle that I was using, which is the RX-7, okay? So I'm gonna walk in, hop into the vehicle, and once you're in here, you press the, um, once you hop in, you press Q to enter the workshop. All right, this is the part that you really have to do exactly what I do to make this work. Okay, once you're here, go down to the wheel section. You need to make sure you change the wheels. Okay, go to wheel type, go to race, select the race wheel that you want to use. Okay, whatever one you want to pick, buy it. Okay, you can back out of this menu here. You can go down to the color. You can change the color of the wheel. I go up to white and change it to white. Back out of that. And then I'm gonna go to the tire. Okay, go to design and select the design of tire that you want. Okay, you need to do this now so you get the right one. From here, while you're sitting on that menu, press the P again, go to online, and you wanna go to creator. Okay. Go to creator, once you're there, basically you wanna press the P button again, and then go to a invite only session, or a friend session, or whatever session you want to. Okay, I went invite only, so if you go to a public session and it's not working, just try going to invite only, that might make it work, but I pretty much live in an invite only these days, so I don't really go anywhere else, and um, yeah, it's I'm, yeah, I just do like my glitching. So yep, heading to an invite only right now, and what you'll notice once you get in here, you'll notice that when you go down to the actual workshop itself and to the garage part, You'll notice that the vehicle that you just merged um, or just made is reverted back to the vehicle it was, but it's pulled the wheels off the F1 for me. Okay, so if you had Bennies, it will pull the Bennies off. If you're using F1s like me, it's going to pull the F1s off. And that's pretty much the glitch done. All you have to do now is purchase something on this vehicle. Okay, so I'm going to bring the RX-7 into the workshop, hop in, press Q, and I'm just going to buy some stuff over it just to save it. Okay, just make sure it staves. I actually done this glitch four times. Um, I closed the actual GTA program on PC, reloaded it, come into a new session, and all the vehicles were still saved. Okay, a lot of glitches on PC revert the vehicles back to um, standard. Okay, I know if you mod them, you have to mod them a certain way, otherwise they revert when you come back to a new session. So this actually keeps the wheels. Okay, this actually keeps the wheels saved on these vehicles. Um, for the last time, it's only on PC, okay? I will get questions about this in the comments. I can see it now, but um, just so you know, it's only for PC only. It's not for console. It doesn't work on console. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Um, if you're trying to go to tie design like here, on, on actual console, you can actually change the F1 wheels. Um, you can't actually do that on PC, okay? It won't allow you to buy it. So you have to make like at the point where you change the wheel, change the color, change the tire design, you need to um, select the one that you want before you go to creator so that you get the one that you actually want before you go, like have the finished product with the wheel on the car. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Definitely take advantage. This will be patched probably early next week due to the solo glitch that comes out off this glitch. Um, and yeah, definitely take advantage of it if you have a PC. Alright guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.